a lot of street rappers talk about what's going on in the trenches. But the rapper we're talking about today took self-snitching to a whole new level. After allegedly leaving some ops dead in a brutal shooting, he hopped in a booth and told everyone exactly how it went down, and now he's facing life in prison over the situation. This is the crazy story of Hop Out Blick. Rap fans know that cities like Chicago and Atlanta have crazy street drama. Rappers like Lil Durk, King Von, and FBG Duck put the Warren Chirac on the map. And now Young Thug and his YSL crew are wrapped up in a crazy Rico case in Atlanta for allegedly running drugs and putting bags on Ops' heads. But what most people don't know is that Philadelphia can get just as wild. There's a lot going on all over the city, but today we're breaking down the brutal gang war that led to Hop Out Blake catching two murder charges. He came up in an area of the city called Germantown, which has been getting more and more violent since the 2010s. A lot of gang wars in the rap game start with someone getting killed in the street. But according to rumors, this one was sparked by people just throwing hands at a gas station. It's not clear exactly what went down, but it set off a crazy wave of violence that's still getting people killed today. Germantown has a lot of active sets in the area, but today we're breaking down what happened with PNB and the West Side Mafia. PNB is one of the most well-known crews in the city after PNB Rock blew up in the industry and put him on the map. But his brother Steph was actually one of the first deaths in the war with the West Side Mafia. PNB Rock came up in the trenches of Germantown and got active at a young age. He was getting into fights at school all the time, and at 13, he got sent to Juvie on a robbery charge. Juvie didn't keep him out of the streets though, and at 19, he went to prison for over two years and was homeless for a while when he came back outside. He started writing rhymes while he was locked up, and that's when Rock decided to switch up how he moved and make it out of the streets. He started dropping music in 2014 and signed his first major deal a year later with Atlantic Records. Rock took everything to another level in 2016 when he hit the Billboard Hot 100 with the track Selfish. He had given up the street life and was already popping off in the industry. But back in Philadelphia, his family and old crew were about to get involved with one of the deadliest beefs in the city. In 2016, the year that PNB Rock hit the mainstream, his brother Steph was in the whip with a girl when a shooter rolled up and started letting off shots. Steph got hit in the body, and by the time the cops got there, he was already dead. Nobody was ever booked for killing Steph, but rumors say a dude from the West Side Mafia named Nemo was behind the hit. Nemo was one of the biggest hitters for the West Side, and after he allegedly killed Steph, rumors say that PNB put a major bag on his head. A year after Steph was murdered, Nemo was visiting his girlfriend and spending time with his three-month-old son when he allegedly got a phone call to come outside. It's not clear who made the call, but when Nemo walked out of the house, someone ran up and killed him with a shot to the head. Hop Out Blick reps PNB and another crew called The Tortures, and he's been dissing Nemo ever since. Like on the track Where You Been, when he rapped, We don't shoot from cars, you know we jumping out on feet. And we flamed they whole car, cause they was trying to jump out that jeep. Ain't no lacking on this block, Lil saw in every car he see. Ain't no capping in my rhymes, bro. I'll be in them cars for weeks. I'm trying to do a nigga like Nemo got. Send something to the sea. And on the track, so many names. He raps. Nemo caught a face shot. Ski like caught a head shot. He was trolling on that gram, and that shit got his man shot. After Nemo died, Westside Mafia allegedly slid into their territory and ended up killing an innocent teenager named Jai Kustas. In September 2017, Jai Kustas was hanging out with some friends on the 100 block of East Pistorius in East Germantown when someone pulled up and let off shots into the crowd. Four people got hit, including Jai's little cousin, but Jai was the only one who didn't make it out alive. Rumors say he was cool with dudes from PNB, but wasn't actually active in the streets. After he died, his family told reporters that he was a good student who loved playing basketball and wanted to become a doctor. But he was tragically caught up in the beef between PNB and the West Side Mafia and left dead in the street. While the shooting was going down, Jai was trying to save everyone around him and told his little cousin, if I get shot, I get shot. There were a bunch of kids in the street and Jai was trying to make sure they were all safe. Instead of ducking into a house and keeping himself safe, Jai stayed outside to help and ended up getting shot in the back and dying. PNB Rock was already out of the streets and working with some of the biggest artists in the world when Jai got killed, but he still shouted him out on the track Lost You To The Game back in 2021. Rock also rapped about his brother Steph and said, I'm on now, but I'm missing my game. Steph ain't even get to see when I cop that new Musang. And Shizzy ain't get to see the jet, we on all these private planes. Rest in peace, my young nigga Jai got killed when he was only 16. Ops took an innocent soul, man. He wasn't even in the game. In an interview with Hood Life Media, Hop Out Blick said that PNB Rock inspired everyone in the set. He showed everyone that you could really make it out of the streets and into the rap game. 
Blick was raised by his grandma in Germantown and said it was wild coming up there. Blick has been in the streets for a long time, but he only started rapping seriously around 2021. How about Blick never thought he was going to be a rapper, but PNB Rock proved that dudes from the Philly trenches could make it out. So Blick and his homies started trying to do the same thing. But before Blick ever hopped in the booth, he was allegedly getting active in the war between PNB and the West Side Mafia. And in 2018, the beef led to another innocent teenager getting killed. On September 5th, 2018, a 19-year-old woman named Destiny was chilling on a friend's porch in the west side of Germantown. Nobody knows why it happened, but around 7 p.m., two shooters rolled through and let off shots at Destiny and her friends. Another guy got shot and was left paralyzed for life, while Destiny got hit and tragically died five days later in the hospital. The next loss that PNB took was another rapper from the set named PNB Shizzy. In January 2019, Shizzy and his homie Dante Smith were sitting in the whip when someone shot them both. Police responded to the scene and both of them were rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately, neither of them made it out alive. What makes the situation even crazier is that they were killed by someone who was sitting in the car with them. Shizzy and Dante were in the front of the whip and whoever pulled the trigger was sitting behind them in the back seat. Then a few months later, PNB allegedly got revenge by taking out a dude from the west side named Sturdy. Sturdy was chilling on the block with a homie when two shooters ran up and dumped 16 shots at them. Sturdy's homie got hit twice but was still able to run away. But one of the bullets caught Sturdy in the head and he was pronounced dead just a couple hours later at the hospital. Police said that Sturdy had a strap in his waistband when they arrived at the scene, but apparently the ops got the drop on him and killed him before he had the chance to up it. The west side lost another shooter named Gunna in 2020. Gunna was allegedly putting major pressure on PNB and the crews are clicked up with, and in January 2020, some shooters from PNB allegedly caught Gunna outside and killed him. Gunna was a big loss for the West Side, and how about Blick dissed him on the track so many names when he rapped. Gunna came out the crib eating Doritos, dead up. Mikey got caught trying to shovel snow, they left him flaming hot. I'm the real hop out Blick, they know I hop out Blick a lot. Chase him down, and if he fall, you know you best end over top. In 2021, another allegedly innocent dude was murdered in the war between PNB and the West Side just because he was cool with some street dudes. Cam Scott Bay was a 19-year-old artist who painted a landscape at a local elementary school and wanted to work on cartoons and video games. Cam rapped on the side too, but according to people close to the situation, he wasn't active in the streets at all and was just friends with some dudes who were in the trenches. But even chilling with the ops is enough to turn you into one in a wild place like Philly. And in April 2021, Cam was standing on the street waiting for a friend when someone came through and killed him. Hop out Blake jumped in the studio and started dropping drill tracks around 2021 and 2022. And he started airing out the beef on tracks like so many names when he rapped. Mikey died trying to shovel snow. They left him fucked. He was dissing on the gram and the next day sent him up. You ain't bending for your man. You ain't do shit when he got plucked. Bro, you heard what they did to Cam? They ran down on him, hit him up. Hop out Blick wasn't just dissing Westside Mafia in his music though. He went live May 2022 on IG with some dudes from a set called YBC and started sending shots at dead ops. One of the dudes commenting on the live was a PNB affiliate named Tino. Then just a few hours later, three shooters caught Tino and murdered him in the middle of the street. The cops were right there when it went down and started busting at the shooters, but they were able to get away and nobody was ever booked for killing Tino. Tino's funeral was held a week after he was killed, and on the same day, a dude from the west side got caught pumping gas and was allegedly shot by PNB. Brandon Dixon from the west side stopped at a gas station in Germantown on the day of Tino's funeral, and that's when two shooters hopped out of a whip and killed him in broad daylight. It's not clear if Blick was on the hit, but he dissed Brandon on the track so many names and said, this that gas station lack, this that 30 on pump 5, niggas know the torture, steady blitz and shit, this shit for Jai, real get backers. They ain't even take a week when Tino died. Hop Out Blick came up repping PNB, but he's also part of a crew of younger dudes called The Tortures. The first official video he dropped on YouTube was for his track Torture Party, where he rapped, Fuck Gunna, dig him up, that's another brainless op. Headshot us, big tortures, no we only aim at tops. Big oppas, big scorchers, no we torching niggas block. If you wanna be a torture, yeah you gotta torture op. Don't be a bitch, hop in them V's, hop out and up your Glock. After Brandon Dixon was killed, the West Side Mafia allegedly murdered Blake's homie Chucky. A rapper from West Side Mafia named Pugger dropped a diss track after it went down, and in the video, he's holding a gun to the head of a Chucky doll, which made a lot of people think he was involved with the murder. He's locked up on a murder charge right now, 
but it's not clear if it's over the Chucky situation or something else. Losing Chucky and his other homies didn't slow Blake down at all in the streets, and in April 2023, he was allegedly involved in one of the most brutal killings in Philadelphia. According to police reports, Blake and some other dudes set up a gun sale but planned on robbing the guys who wanted to buy the strap. Hop out Blake and his crew showed up to the crib, but the situation went left and shots started going off. Four teenagers on the other side got hit, and three of them tragically died at the scene. Blake went on the run and kept on dropping music, but a few months later, the cops caught up to him and booked him on two murder charges. Rumors say that someone in PNB is already snitching on Blake, and the cops have a bunch of evidence from the scene, but Blake's own lyrics will probably be used against him too. In an unreleased track, he rapped, We fried La, now we can't pop no more willies. Them big ass 40 holes look like he fell to 10 milli. They should have played it smart and just gave up them glizzies. They made a wrong move, then my twin lit off his switchy. He took that risk, and we shot Leaky in his kidney. This nigga got me teed, like how you make it to the dock. They can't stop the tease, cause we keep torching on they block. Blake pretty much laid out exactly how the shooting went down on the track, instead of laying low and keeping his head down. He talks about being inspired by PNB Rock to make it in the industry, but obviously Blake was more focused on putting in work in the trenches, and now three people are dead, and hop out Blake is facing life in prison for killing them.